What a Tank, big win that Tank was. decides to do what he wants to in, in no, certain fights. We can hand you have a big bet on that fight. Oh. Leonard Ellerbe and Eddie Hearn, two huge names in the boxing world, got into a serious brawl. And it's not your average argument. This one escalated into a full-blown fight. The debate that ignited this wild altercation? The potential showdown between Gervonta Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Yep, that's the hot topic that led to a heated brawl between Ellerbe and Hearn. For those who might not know, Leonard Ellerbe is the CEO of Mayweather Promotions. Or should I say, was? Yep, Floyd Mayweather fired him as the CEO after he leaked. That Floyd was in some serious debt and owed a lot of money to a lot of people. So after Ellerbe got kicked out of Mayweather Promotions, guess who had his back? Gervonta Davis. Yep, that's right. No surprise that Leonard Ellerbe is backing Tank in this match. He's a major supporter of Tank Davis. So when the question came, Shakur versus Tank, who wins? Ellerbe didn't hesitate one bit before answering. He has a hit list. And he's gonna get every one of these guys, to, who, these guys who y'all say are the top guys. Trust me, trust me. Shakur's gonna get that work. He asking for, he gonna get that work. But it ain't what he think it is. It ain't what he think it is. I can't wait for it to happen though. How confident you are Tank could be fighting someone like a Devin Haney or a Shakur, uh, a Lomachenko next. Do you see that kind of a fight happening for Tank? All these guys, all these guys, who you guys, who you guys say are the top guys out there, Tank gonna get every one of these guys. He just can't fight them all in one night. He didn't already got Ryan Garcia out the way. Next is Frank Martin on the hit list. On the flip side, Eddie Hearn is the chairman of Matchroom Boxing and a big advocate for Shakur Stevenson. Like if Shakur beats Cordina and Zapata, I think he beats Tank, and I'm a massive Tank fan. But when that time comes, that will be a mega fight, mega fight. And I think Tank is struggling for opponents. Like if Rayo doesn't fight him in November and Robert's saying he's not going to be ready, who's he going to fight in November? He needs Shakur. He really does. And listen, we need Tank to make that mega fight. But let's get that fight made next year. But first, he's got to come through Joe Caldino. Eddie Hearn has his own reasons for backing Shakur in this mega fight. And his reasons are worth listening to. So we'll get into that later on in this video. But first, we gotta break down this brawl between Leonard Ellerbe and Eddie Hearn. These two are on opposite sides of a major boxing debate. Who would win in a fight between Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson? So why did things get so heated? Ellerbe and Hearn have been vocally supportive of their respective fighters, but it seems their debate reached a boiling point today. As, as it relates to the Shakur Stevenson fight, Tank wants him. But it's all about the timing of everything. I feel that we've got a two-fight plan with Shakur. Hopefully it extends Joe Caldina, Zapata in February. I think that Tank against Shakur is one of the biggest fights in the sport. It's going to take someone as good as Shakur to give him a real fight. And I like, I love that fight. I love that. Shakur can't beat Tank. Shakur can't beat Tank. I disagree. He beat all the motherfuckers. I disagree. Tank loses rounds. No, no. Tank, Tank decides to do what he wants to in, in no. certain fights. No. We can and you can have a big bet on that fight. Oh, most round. definitely. Most most definitely. I think Shakur's the man to beat him. Shakur cannot He's a very Mexican good fighter. A lot of respect for him, what he's done in the ring. He got a good team around him, but he can't The argument was about who would come out on top if Tank and Shakur faced off. Ellerbe, defending Tank's power and aggressive style, clashed with Hearn, who backed Shakur's technical abilities and defensive skills. Now we were on Power V's skill, but somehow it turned into Leonard Ellerbe versus Eddie Hearn, as Ellerbe shoved Hearn, taking this argument to a whole new level. Now Eddie Hearn wasn't gonna let that slide, so he threw a big right himself, and all of a sudden it was pure chaos. If it weren't for the security there, then at least one of them would be in the hospital right now. Oh, 
Yep, I guess both guys were really passionate about their predictions for this one. Let's start with Tank Davis. This guy is a knockout artist with an explosive fighting style that's made him a crowd favorite. With his ability to end fights quickly, Tank's been a dominant force in his division. His power and aggressive approach have earned him a reputation as one of the most dangerous fighters out there. With Tank in the ring, it's not about winning the rounds. You just gotta survive the knockout punch. But hey, the guy has a 94% KO rate. He's flatlining people left, right, and center. Oh, left up for John. Oh, Now, on the other side, we have Shakur Stevenson. Shakur is known for his technical brilliance, defensive skills, and ring IQ. He's been hailed as one of the brightest young talents in boxing. But when it comes to the entertainment side of boxing, Shakur is not it. Every fight, he gets called out for being boring. Fight for Formula One weekend. I will ask for my money back and go straight to bed. That's how sleepy I will be from being there. But say what you want about him, but the guy knows how to win. Not to mention, he's training with the best of the best Floyd Mayweather. Floyd has been training Shakur to prep for Tank Davis. Yep, you heard that right, Floyd Mayweather. Training Shakur Stevenson is a huge game changer for a potential fight against Tank Davis. Since Floyd's been with Tank his whole career, he knows every trick and move Tank uses. So, if anyone can figure out how to beat Tank, it's Floyd. Now, with Floyd's expert coaching, Shakur is getting the inside scoop on how to counter Tank's style. It's like having a cheat code in a video game. Floyd's strategies could seriously give Shakur the edge he needs to outsmart Tank in the ring. If there's one person who can help Shakur pull off a win, it's definitely Floyd Mayweather. So, what's next? The brawl might have been a dramatic moment, but it's just a part of the larger conversation about Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson. Both Ellerbe and Hearn are likely to continue defending their positions, and the debate will probably heat up even more as we get closer to this fight. Eddie Hearn is backing Shakur all the way, and he's got a reason why, and it's simple. Tank loses rounds. Gervonta Davis relies too much on his KO punch, but with someone like Shakur, who has an elite level defense, it's gonna be hard for Tank to catch Shakur with a power shot. Tank was losing rounds against Frank Martin up until he knocked him out. The same happened with the Garcia fight, but Shakur is the guy who can take this fight to the judges and win on points. At least that's what Eddie Hearn believes. But he loses a lot of rounds. You know, he lost rounds to Frank Martin, he lost rounds to Pitbull Cruz, he lost rounds to Ryan Garcia, and I think he'll lose. But hey, forget about this fight. The real showdown happened between Hearn and Ellerby. This isn't the first time these two have clashed. They've previously exchanged heated words over various boxing issues. But today's altercation took things to a new level. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.